hair accessory adoption. Today we are going to talk about classic handbag styles to invest in. So the first style we're going to go over is going to be the hobo. And so it's been a style that's come in and out of popularity over the years, but it definitely is a classic staple. Um, its shape is known for the singular strap. Um, and sometimes you may see it with a double strap, but mostly um, I've seen it with a single strap like you see like so. Um, and then it'll have that slouchy kind of circular shape to it. Um, and it comes in a different type of styles and embellishments on the outside. But with this one, it has like a slouchy um, shape and it kind of just like, kind of not topples all the way on itself, but it kind of just um, molds or melts into itself somewhat. A casual, sophisticated type of style is what I would classify as a hobo. Um, next item on our list is going to be the clutch slash crossbody. And the reason that why I am classifying it, I understand a clutch can be just a clutch and then a, a crossbody can be just a crossbody. But since we're talking about the topic of classic items to invest in, um, I like the use of getting multiple purposes out of one item. So if you can and you want to invest in something, I would suggest going for something that you can use a multiple, uh, multiple different ways. And so I'll pull up two clutches that I have and then kind of explain that a little further. Um, so first one that I have up is going to be Low and Sons um, crossbody. And so sorry about the little... <laughs> The straps there are coming apart, but the Low and Sons crossbody. Um, and so this one here I use for traveling um, when I go out of town for work. And the reason I like this one is because when I read the description, I like that I could use it a bunch of different ways. So when I say I bought one handbag, but I can wear it three different ways, that's something you want to invest in because you have a bunch of different options you can use it for. So I predominantly or pretty much all the time, 100% of the time when I use it, I use it as a crossbody handbag when I'm traveling for work because it just makes it easier when I'm rolling a suitcase. I need to be hands-free, have my ticket in one hand, have my ID or something like that, and roll my other hand with the bag or have a phone in one hand, um, rolling the suitcase with the other. Um, so that's why I like this for crossbody. And then and I'm going to restaurants, offices, and things like that, it's easy just to throw it over and it, I know it's secure. Um, but also, I paid one price for this, but I can use it three different ways. So I can take off the strap. So my suggestion, it would be to, like I said, use it for multiple different purposes. So that's why I put the category crossbody slash clutch, because that's really what you want to look for. So with this one also, I can take the straps off, which I'm doing right now. And then I can see here that I can now use this item as a clutch. One second, I'm going to silence my phone, which I thought I did, sorry. Um, so we have, a, uh, now we have what we can use as a clutch. Um, also with this, if you think about it, if you have like a large tote bag, you have a large suitcase or something like that, and you wanna use this as like your junk drawer, put your makeup in it, put your toiletries in it, whatever you can think of and use this now as a pouch, you can do that too because now the straps are gone and now you can stick this in something much larger and get a lot of items out of it. So you have a lot of bang for your buck when you use it for multiple different purposes. And so that's why, like I said, I grouped those together. Um, so also now I've taken off, taken off the straps. So key there is making sure they're removable and so that you can use this as now a clutch. Also with this, it came with a shorter strap. Um, I don't have it with me right now, um, but I'm just gonna fold this over so I can kind of give you an example of it. So when I fold this over like this, about this long with a clip at the end was another strap that came with this handbag. And so I am able to clip it to one side and use it as a um, wristlet, um, which is wonderful. So if you're going to the gym, grocery store, you're going out with your girls, whatever you're using it for, you have this quick item that you can now either take it from a clutch to a crossbody to also a wristlet. 
I will admit I have never used it as a wristlet. I have never even used it as a clutch actually because I define this in my mind as my work bag and I have other bags in my closet. I pretty much just use this as a crossbody and this is my crossbody for work only. Um, and that's just for me. Um, but definitely you can get a lot more bang out of your buck when you can remove the straps. Another example of that is going to be this Tory Burch um, crossbody that I have. And this one also is a removable straps. Notice with um, the Low and Sons, it's in a classic color black. So if you're just starting out your collection, you wouldn't necessarily want to start off with bright colors such as this one here. But because I have more than one, I have several clutches, I have several um, crossbodies, I want it to branch out and get a pop of color. Um, and so, like I mentioned, this strap is removable, so I can take this off and also make it a clutch as well. Excuse me. I can make it a clutch as well. So it basically functions as multi-purpose, right? So I can take this to a formal event because the size is smaller. <laughs> formal event because the size is smaller um, and make this a beautiful item just to put under my um, shoulder right here. Um, so those are just two examples of crossbody slash clutch that you may want to look out for when you're looking for classic styles to invest in. Um, so with your tote bag, it's more like a catch-all, can carry everything type of hand, um, handbag. If it's tote. Um, so it's nylon. So this is an example of the shape where it can be long, um, taller than it is wide. Um, and it has two straps. So you'll see the double straps up at the top here. And then it also has shorter straps. And this could also be considered a tote as well because this is you toting the bag around. Um, so it can either fit over your shoulder or not. And like I also mentioned, it could also be wider. So keep that in mind. Um, so as you add items to your collection, definitely you can add this classic style. I, would, I, would necess I wouldn't necessarily say go for a bright color at first if that's your first tote. Um, I, would say, I would say go for a neutral color like either black, navy blue, gray, brown um, for your first tote. And then for your next one, if you want to branch out into a brighter color, definitely do that. Um, so that way um, you can kind of build up your collection and be able to rotate handbags. Um, so that is another example of a classic style to invest in, which is a tote. Um, so if there's anything else you have questions about, comments, please definitely put those below, like I mentioned. Um, also, if there's if you like this video, please definitely give it a thumbs up. It just lets me know what kind of material you would like to see. Um, and if there's any suggestions, please let me know that as well. And thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time. Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is India with Designer Accessory Adoption. I wanted to qu quickly film another video to add to the classic handbag styles to invest in. I left out a category and that's top handles. I apologize for not being on camera. I wash my hair and it's not camera ready. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and film that additional short snippet to add to the other video that's on YouTube. And so like I mentioned, without further ado, we'll talk about top handles. So top handles are classified as a handbag that's more of a structured shape. As you can see here, it has the handles at the top that you can hold in your hand and tote around. It has like a squarish type of shape to it with a more structured business-like look is the kind of look that it has. You can either wear it like I am holding it here or in the crook of your arm like I can do right here like this. Um, also with this style, it does come with a crossbody strap, so you could wear it over your shoulder or as a crossbody style as well. So you may see that with some of the updated versions of the top handle handbags, but it's more so that ladylike structured type of style. Like I mentioned, um, you do, it could come with one or two handles like you see here. And I'll just kind of move it around a little bit so you can kind of see the general structure of it. But it's more of a structured type of handbag, things that you would kind of imagine that 
maybe a business person, a lawyer, those type of more formal, uh, professional type of occupations that you may see or kind of equate type of this style to. Not saying that somebody who works as a janitor or works as a barista or whatever is your daily occupation doesn't mean that you can't use this handbag. I just wanted to more so give a kind of feel and style or an idea of what I mean when I talk about a top handle handbag. But this is another classic style that you can invest in. It definitely, the style will excuse me, <laughs> stand the test of time. Um, it is a more structured, formal-like uh, formal -like style, but it is a really good style to have in your collection to pick from. Thanks for watching. Add comments and questions below if you have any and have a good day.